What's up guys, it's Osiris. Welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're going to be diving a little deep into SliceX and we're going to take a look at the region and the articulator settings in SliceX. Let's get right into this. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is drag in a drum sample into SliceX. So I'm just going to be using the drum loop here. I created this uh, sound from the sampling series we've been doing and i'm just going to be using the drum loop from this sound so i'm just going to drag this in here let's put this on pattern mode so we have this so this is the original pattern and we've been able to slice this up into different regions if you've not used slice x before I would recommend this video on how to sample with slice and slice x that should get you started with using slice x so after you watch that come over to this video to learn more things about slice x so what we'll be talking about today is the region settings and the articulator settings so all these options were not visible before because we didn't have any sample in the sampler here so these markers in slice x are divided into different regions here so you can also select them here so we have these first markers, this kick here, and if I select marker five, that's this clap here. So we can increase the volume of the kick by amplifying it here. We can bring down the volume. We can pan the kick to the right. So let's center this. And we just have different options here. You have your filters. And the thing is that these settings are connected to the articulators here. So you have eight articulators here and you can link them with the articulator option here. So I'm just going to, uh, let's select region five. And I'm just going to increase the pitch of this clap here. Now let's bring this down. So if I play this. And note, this only affects the sound in the piano row in the pattern. So you can change, you can make changes here in the region and articulator settings and drag this out as audio. You still have the former audio here. So let's, so if I drag this out, you see the clap doesn't change. So you can only make these changes with when you're working with patterns. So if you want to make a change on the audio itself, you have to use the options here below this line here. So you have to use these options here. So that's just a side note. I can also double click here and it will select the region for me. So I can link this region to articulator two and I can do some things on my, articul on my second articulator. Like I can uh, turn on the volume envelope and just make the kick, the decay of the kick very short. Then to activate this envelope, I'll have to link the amplitude to articulator two. So I've affected this kick now. Let's look for that. So you see how short that sounds. So we have this, put this on pattern anything i put on this if i take this first kick here and i can link this to articulator so i need to also have the same effect so if i bring this back to articulator one i reset the effects the kick has so you have different eight different articulators and you can link the amplitude, the filter, the speed, which controls the pitch and the start and end time to these eight different articulators. So what I can do is I can link this clap here, this low pitch clap. Let's link the pitch to articulator four. Then let's do some things with the pitch on articulator four. So let's see what we can do here. Let's turn this on. I'm just going to change the volume envelope. I'm just going to have a long volume envelope. 
So let's play this. Let's see how this sounds. This will be very interesting. Yeah, that's some interesting sound. Let's change that. Let's see. You know, I'm just going to make this faster. Let's see how that sounds. So once you have your changes here, you can use the drum samples in your piano roll, just like you play any other sample. Let's clear this. So, so I played. So, so yeah, that's how you can use the region and articulator settings in Slice X. So you can make basic sound changes as with your panning volume pitch and the start times and the end times and you can link uh, different regions to different articulators so with this you'll be able to get more advanced sounds with your samples and with your drum uh, sound so that's the basics of how to use the region settings and articulator in slice x i hope you learned something new from this video and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.